Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create an Alibaba Cloud Container Service application environment running on Docker Swarm. We've shown you how to prepare a cluster environment for your Docker Swarm applications in a previous video. Let's first make sure our Docker Swarm cluster is running. Head over to the Container Service Console page in your Alibaba Cloud account. Make sure the Container Service Swarm option is selected before clicking the Cluster option on the left side menu. If all's well, you should see a running cluster in a healthy state. Go to the Applications menu option and click Create Application. In the basic options, add a name for the application. Version number, the default is 1.0. Select the cluster you wish to use for the application. We only have one running cluster, so this is defaulted. And select your release strategy. Add a description of your application and select the Pull Docker Image option. Now click Create with Image. You will find yourself at the Configuration options. In General Settings, click Select Image. Select the Engine X option and click OK. The latest Docker image version is pulled from remote Docker repositories by default. You can now click Create on the right hand side. You will see a confirmation that the application is being created. Now you will see your Engine X application in both the Applications and Services menus. In the Applications menu, click the Engine X running application and click Update. Now we can configure the networking. Add the port mapping details for HTTP and HTTPS ports 80 and 443 and the container port. Now click Update. You will see the application creating and then eventually settle into a running state. Click the Applications menu. Click through to the application details. In this view, you will see a number of tabs. The Services tab shows the state of the application. Click the Containers tab. In this view, you will see all the VPC network port settings, the container IP and the node IP. You also have the option to monitor the container. Click the Name link. You will see a number of graphs, including the container's CPU, memory, I.O., and process utilizations over time. Now, click the Logs tab. Here you will see the logs for the container, if any. Now click Events. This option will show you a list of events on the container. Now click the Routes tab. Here you will see the container's endpoint. Go ahead and click the link. You should see confirmation that you have set up the Nginx container correctly and it is running. Now let's integrate WordPress with Nginx on the same cluster. This time we will use an orchestration template. Go back to the Container Service Console and click Applications. Check you're on the correct cluster and click Create Application. The procedures are exactly the same as before, but instead of clicking Create with Image, we will click Create with Orchestration Template. We can leave the Docker Image option unselected in this case. For those familiar with Docker, you can run your Docker Compose files here. Click Use Existing Orchestration Template. Select WordPress. As you can see, the console populates with the relevant Docker Compose commands and configuration. We need to edit one of the configurations now, which is the Aliyun port 80 configuration. This configuration change should mean that any request to port 80 from the test domain URL should route to WordPress. Now click Create and Deploy. Click OK. You will see your application running. Click the Applications menu and you will see WordPress creating. Once the application is created, you will see it in the running state. Click through to the application. As before, you will see a number of tabs. WordPress has two tabs as it needs a database and a web application in order to run. Click the Containers tab. The Containers tab shows details of all the different running Docker containers that the application requires. Logs and Events tabs show details as we saw before. If you click Routes, you get the WordPress endpoint URL, which you will need to set up your application. Go ahead and click it. You can now set up your WordPress site running on the Nginx web server that we set up previously. You now know how to create an Alibaba Cloud Container Service application. To learn more about Alibaba Cloud's products and services, visit www.alibabacloud.com. Thanks for watching.